It's a wolf. It's a man. Oh, it's Killer Bang. Oh, what is up, guys? It's been a while, but it's worthwhile. Cause in this video, we'll talk all about clan events. It has the most complex mechanics in the game, so we'll dive into it. We'll also discuss everything that is related to it in order to see the bigger picture and allow your leaders to plan for them accordingly. So what are clan events? To answer that in a detailed manner, we'll first need to know that there are two types of clan events. The first type is regular clan events which is held weekly, while the second type is called seasonal clan events which is held monthly. First, we'll talk all about regular clan events. Like I said, these are events that are held weekly and has a 4 day period in which clan members will complete tasks to earn points for themselves and for the clan but you should know that we currently have two kinds of regular clan events the first one is hunting event this event is all about killing various enemies in any map except airdrop point c3 why well just imagine high level players spamming red flare It'll be unfair to new players. But other than that, the harder the enemy, the map, and the difficulty of bosses you go to, the more points you'll gain. The second one is farming event. This event is all about gathering resources that can be obtained by farming tools or by picking them up. The more rare the resources you farm, the more points it gives however please take note that this excludes looting corpses or chests for the seasonal clan event also known as heroes race or what i like to call the nation event this is an event that is held monthly and has 11 days period in which your assignment is to bring items to dr elizabeth located in river village Usually, 4 random items will be asked and will only be shown at the start of the event. This prevents higher level players to massively accumulate items easily from hard maps thus making it fair and square for all clans to have a chance to climb the rankings equally. Now that we have brief description of the types and kinds of clan events, we'll now talk about clan leagues and leaderboards. First. What are clan leagues? Clan leagues have 5 different levels. These are Wanderers League, Survivors League, Explorers League, Builders League, and Rebirth League. The higher your league, the rarer the items you can ask in clan request and as well as buy from clan merchant. As for the leaderboards, there are also two types. The first one is clan leaderboards, which is associated with the regular clan events. Clan leaderboard resets by the end of each regular clan event. This means they are not summed up 
by previous events or the following events. This signifies your clan's current strength and activeness which highly depends on your clan members' contributions towards completing the tasks. While this may not look important to you as a member, this is highly important to leaders as it paints them the picture of how the clan is currently progressing. In short, the higher the score, the better the clan's progress, the more it attracts other players to join the clan. The second one is Global Leaderboard, which is associated with the seasonal clan event. Global leaderboards are the overall summary of clan scores from previous Heroes Race events. This signifies how old the clan is and its capability to climb leagues. You guys may wonder, Killer Fang, why is my clan not climbing ranks in terms of global leaderboard? My clan's league has been same league for a long time. Why is that? Now as I've mentioned, there are two types of clan events, and one of those types is the only one that's responsible for bumping up your clan's league and clan's placings in terms of global leaderboard. And this event is no other than Heroes Race. To elaborate more of its mechanics, the competition is designed to randomly select 30 clans in the same league and pit them against one another to compete for clan's upgrade. Only the top 5 clans will be granted to move up to the next league once the event ends. That means that if you know a friend who is in a different clan which has the same league as yours, there's a chance that both of your clans will still rank as top 1 and move on to the next league, provided that you were not matched up with one another. The real challenge starts as your clan climbs higher and higher in the clan league. That's because the fact that only 5 clans gets upgraded per leagues, there will be fewer clans to randomly select from. Hence, if there's only 30 clans overall, let's say for example in Builders League, and then you and your friend's clan are in it, then expect to compete against one another to be the number 1. On top of that, expect to clash against other clans that were left behind in Builders League. I'm pretty sure they do not like the taste of losing and will definitely be more prepared to grab the spotlight as much as you do. This is the turning point where your idols become your rivals or members become traitors. As of now, there's only 5 clans that are in Rebirth League, the highest league of all. You may be in the top 10 rankings in Global Leaderboard but that doesn't mean you have the highest league either, and vice versa. That simply means that if you have a fresh clan like mine, and is racking up scores to the point you've caught up to the OGs, the clan may be top 10, but it might still be in Explorer's League. So now that we thoroughly discussed leagues and leaderboards, we'll now talk about clan event rewards. Again, before we start, there's two types of clan event rewards. The first one is personal rewards and the other one is clan rewards. Personal rewards pertains to individual's progress while clan rewards pertains to the totality of each clan member's contributions. There are 10 levels for both and the prizes per level that you can unlock depends on how much points you've accumulated during the event. You will need to hit certain points to unlock prizes designated to the rewards level. The points vary per level, meaning the higher the level, the more points that you'll need to earn. As much as I want to share the points needed per level, this information are manually tabulated by our members and organized by one person. Now, while it's true that the clan rewards depend on your overall clan's effort, those members that have maxed their personal rewards can still push their points even further to help achieve the max level for clan rewards. 
being the top 3 highest contributor of your clan will guarantee you additional prizes and as well earn crowns next to your name. These crowns will be lost once someone else has taken over your placing in the next clan event. Also, for the regular clan events, those clans who ended up as top 3 will be rewarded with additional items where each member will receive in their mailbox at the end of the event. All throughout the clan event, you will earn clan tokens which are used to purchase items from clan merchant. Aside from clearing rewards level, the higher the points that the clan reaches in clan leaderboard, the more clan tokens will be rewarded to each and every single member by the end of the event. This is however different in seasonal clan event since the clan rewards level goes beyond level 10. As you can see, that is actually level 10 plus level 11. Anything beyond level 10 will only be rewarded with clan tokens. Knowing that, this will then give the clan options whether to go further for the sake of global leaderboard or to be satisfied enough with maxing the clan rewards. Whether you're a chill clan, competitive clan, or semi-competitive clan, it definitely is self-fulfilling to see your clan's name as one of the top 100 clans in global leaderboards. Unfortunately, seasonal clan events are replaced with holiday events such as Easter's, Valentine's, and Christmas. Hopefully, the developers implement the change of making seasonal clan events more accessible and permanent in the future so that the clans can grow in a timely manner. Lastly, we'll talk about penalties. This is important to remember because leaving a clan, being kicked out of the clan, or not being in a clan will prevent you from gaining points during any clan event for the rest of the period. So be very careful when you're planning to transfer into another clan. Also, members found cheating during clan event will be banned and their scores will be deducted from your overall clan points. That's why you must constantly promote fair playing within your clan because the developers will always find out whether the player is cheating or not. And that my friends, is what clan events is all about. I hope you guys learned something valuable in today's lesson. Please share this with your fellow members so they know what to expect and what to do. As always, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, peace.